Hey everybody, my name is Jackson Alter. I'm a sophomore at Florida State. I'm gonna be playing all originals tonight. They range from uh, some songs that I wrote from freshman year of high school all the way to freshman year of college. Um, actually, I, there's a, a new song I'm performing. Uh, it's called If You're Up Right Now. Um, and uh, I wrote that like two weeks ago. So very exciting stuff. No one's ever heard it before performed. I've barely heard it performed, so um, I'm very excited to be bringing that to you. Um, so I started playing guitar in second grade. I was also playing violin at the time, but I mean, there's something about playing violin and gu guitar, like you just have to pick one. There's the string instruments, you never really know. Um, but for some reason, guitar gets more girls. I don't know, I, I knew that from a young age. So I stuck with guitar, uh, the six strings instead. I've been singing my whole life. I was like classically trained, like sort of when I was younger. Um, I did more um, like musical theater stuff. Um, so I, I really like performing. I love being on stage, um, getting my face in front of a bunch of people that don't know me and just staring at me. I'm, <laughs> I don't like attention that much, but I, I do love it a little bit. I guess my music career started when I like had my first performance in like second grade and then um, <laughs> I like just kept going with it ever since so nice. yeah okay. yeah so hopefully by um, November 1st or at, at least by the end of Hollow Weekend um, I should uh, have all my music recorded um, I have like maybe 12 songs I'm gonna put on my first ever album whoa that's so scary yeah I'm, I'm thinking of either like 12 of my I guess best songs um, to throw on there uh, they're like mostly, um, I have like the parts written for um, like every single piece. Like I write all the drums, like the bass riff, the electric, like the rhythm, everything. Uh, um, so I'm just excited to be able to finally put it all together in a space where other people can enjoy it as much as I get to. So I guess I'd say it's like light alternative. Indie is like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't want to say I'm indie because if you say you're indie, then you're not really indie. Yeah, so um, I guess I'm more light alternative. Now, I mean, I'm playing an acoustic set tonight, so I'm going to sound more like Jack Johnson than anything. But um, I guess when uh, like everything is uh, done I like, and it, all the pieces are like set out, I'd like to say that I sound more like um, the Pixies or something like that. So, yeah. Heartbreak. Lots of me being head over heels for girls, them crushing my heart, and me figuring it out and learning from it. A lot of my songs like involve like the theme of love, whether it's like being overjoyed and like having so much that you need to like just push it onto other people, or like not having enough, um, and uh, I guess feeling like down on yourself for who you are, even though. Like, you should love yourself and accept who you are as a person, so. Hmm. I think my message is really just to be happy with who you are. Nothing, like, necessarily too real or deep there. It's all pretty superficial stuff. I, I talk about hot girls and doing drugs and stuff like that a lot and drinking way too much. Um, so, <laughs> nothing really niche. Yeah, it's just, it's just all, the, all the good times. So um, I guess it's not to take yourself too seriously and just go have some fun. Okay. Yeah. So there was a song I wrote about a girl. Gosh, am I about to expose myself and say her name even? Her name's Lauren. Wow, this is crazy. Oh um, but she, um, she like meant a lot to me and I had to like, I guess put it into words. I just, or sing it for her. I, I couldn't just say it. Um, and so I wrote a song about, it's called Medium Rare. Um, and it's about how I'm so medium and she's so rare um, and that like I'm just thankful to have someone as cool as her in my life. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to play it tonight, but um, it's called Late Nights and it was like the first song that I'd ever really written about a girl uh, that I like had actually like been really in love with. Um, and uh, like the opening line is like, I'm on a tightrope, like I'm on the line and it just like symbolizes like how I was like teetering whether I wanted to like get into a relationship with this girl or if I just wanted to, I guess, not see where it went. But obviously, I'm way too curious of a guy. I had to know where it, where it went. So 
Uh, I broke my heart in the process of that. But you know how it goes. Um, I guess really, I mean, I'm just thankful. Since I'm the first act, I get to be able to watch everyone else, and I don't have to be nervous for the rest of the night that I'd need to perform or, like, do anything important. So uh, I guess I'm just excited to see everyone else perform and um, I guess get my music out there and listen to all these other great bands. <laughs> my Instagram is uh, jacksonalter27, just like my name, uh, with the 27, that's not in my name. I'm gonna start posting um, my like music on there and when I do eventually make my Spotify and Apple Music and all these other things that I plan on doing this by the end of this month, um, I'm looking forward to like posting all that stuff and making you guys aware of where it's gonna be, when it's coming out, um, so I guess Really just November 1st is the big day. Uh, get excited. You get to learn a little bit more about me with my songs, so thank you.